a really big God bless you friends. God is calling us in this day. He's calling me, I know that, and he's calling us in this day because time, time is of the essence. Time is running out. And uh, you know, I don't know how long I've got friends. You don't know how long you've got. Let's not waste it. Let's not waste it. Let's not waste it. Let's do everything that we can, friends. Let's do everything that we can to advance the call of God in these moments that we have on the earth, possibly uh, last moments. Friends, you know, if Jesus isn't coming back, which I believe he is coming back soon, but even if he isn't, friends, we're not going to be here, are we? We're like fading flowers, grass that withers, and we're here today and we're gone tomorrow. Friends, what are we going to do then? What are we going to do with this life that we have? I was walking through Folkestone today and I was just saying to my wife, I'm, I don't live anywhere. I don't belong anywhere. Friends, I didn't belong in Ischia. I don't belong in Folkestone. I don't belong in England. I just feel that heaven, heaven is my home. I've got nothing else. And this is the reality, friends. We don't have anything. So let's not waste it on things that are passing away. I remember listening to an African missionary, a lady, and she shouted as she preached. And I don't remember much else from the message, but this is what I remember. She said, what are you gonna do? You've been ruined. God has ruined you for anything else. What are you gonna do? God has ruined you for anything else. Friends, have you been ruined? <laughs> have you been ruined by God? Have you gone through the refining fire? Friends, I was with my good friend, Michael Bryant, the other night, and I felt nervous in the presence of God. I felt nervous in the presence of God. Does that sound strange to you? Many years ago, I invited a few friends round and we had a prayer time. And before that prayer time, I had asked the Lord to visit us in the same way as he visited Moses. It was quite a big prayer, friends. And then God turned up and I was nervous in the same way that I felt when I was sitting there with my friend Mike. Friends, God came into the room into the room and I didn't know what to do and both of my friends will uh, vouch for this because they say the same thing and every so often we will mention that day because we were all stunned in silence the same we couldn't speak because of the uh, fearful presence of the Lord the fearful presence of the Lord and I felt nervous and I remember saying to the Lord what have I done what have I done what have I done I've asked you to come and now you're here and now we don't know what to do friends God wants to come and visit us he wants to visit us and he wants to burn away all of the rubbish all of the rubbish he wants to burn away all of the rubbish friends because time is running out time is running out many years ago back in 1991 god showed me that we all had clocks around our necks and that the time was ticking all of us had different times allotted to us but regardless the time was ticking and time was running out for everyone friends what are we going to do what are we going to do shall we run the race with all perseverance 
as to win the prize. Friends, because we'll regret it. We will regret it. Then, friends, let us not be, let us not be, let us not be at the end regretting that we didn't do. Let's be, let's be with God right now, friends. Let's come up into his presence and be with him. Be with him because, friends, he wants to take us deeper. Friends, don't allow prejudice or judgment or anything to get in the way of moving forward with God. He, it's revelation, you know, he wants to take us deeper into revelation. Paul, the apostle, he was taken up to the third heaven where he saw incredible things. John was also shown incredible things when God said, I'm, I'm, come up here and I will show you things. I will show you. Friends, he wants to show us. He wants to show us things. He wants to, he wants to break us. He wants to, he wants to make us into vessels that can carry his glory, that can carry his glory in these days of darkness. Friends, days of darkness, days of darkness are here on the earth and it, the wickedness is getting more wicked. The wickedness is getting more wicked and everything has been inverted. Righteousness is unrighteous. Unrighteousness is righteous for the wicked. And it's okay. People can be proud about their abominations. They can be proud and they can they can praise. They praise people who are doing evil and are being wicked. Friends, let us come away from the world. I was saying today, I don't want to be in the world. I don't want to be in the world. I don't want to enjoy anything in the world. There's nothing to enjoy. I walked past some places and I heard secular music. And I didn't. It didn't feel good, friends. It didn't feel good because when we have God with us, when we have God with us, when we are living for the new country, when we are living for the place that is heaven, oh, hallelujah. This world is, it's got nothing to offer. It's got nothing to offer. Friends, people need to know God. People need to know God and only a few will. Broad is the road that leads to destruction. Let's not expect the entire town to get saved. No, no, it's not going to happen, friends, but there are many out there that need to hear the message. There are people trapped in all kinds of evil, people trapped in all kinds of vices, and they are beautiful people that need to be redeemed. They need to find freedom. That's why Jesus came, to set the captives free. We are God's body on the earth. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I said to Ursula today, I've got so much of the love of God in me that it would be a crime to not give it away. I've got to give it away. I've got to give it away, friends. Friends, we've got to give it away. It's got to come out of us. Let us go across this earth and give the love of God away and see people born again and set free from those wicked demons so friends, these are days, these are days of God coming to his people. Let's awaken, let's awaken, let's awaken and let's draw close. Hallelujah. So a really big God bless you friends. Uh, can I invite you, can I invite you to a series of meetings next week? From the 22nd to the 24th. That's the 22nd, 23rd and 24th. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, April next week at Kingdom Revival. I'll be speaking there and uh, God is just leading me into a place this week of just preparing my heart because I know that God wants to touch us. He wants to come and he's always there in his presence at uh, my good friend Michael Bryant's uh, church at the auditorium there 
in Cheriton High Street. At the end, go all the way through the High Street and past Tesco, the big Tesco on the right. And uh, friends, God will change our hearts. Come along if you're free. If you're not in the area, it's in Folkestone, Kent. If you're not in the area, maybe think about coming. We would love to see you there and we would love to meet you and, and we can fellowship together. So a really big God bless you friends. Love you always. And uh, I'll speak to you again another time and maybe I'll see you on Friday or Saturday or Sunday. It would be my joy to meet with you and to, to just be with the Lord together in these days. So really big God bless you. Love you always. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye-bye.